so I'm going to revise one of the MCQ of the SK 10 February medicine paper. Uh, well, there is a there is a, uh, is a concept in this MCQ. You have not to miss this that concept. So, a lady with loss of blood, about 1.5 liter. After a few weeks, her serum ACTH level was low. Now focus on this thing. ACTH level was low after the hemorrhage, and later it was found that her adrenal gland side was also reduced. So the option over here that respect is atrophy of the cortex, but that is the wrong answer. The answer is ischemic infarction. This is actually a case of Sheehan syndrome, and this is a poor recall. So this is a postpartum hemorrhage, and uh, in a postpartum hemorrhage, what happens? Your ACTH goes down. When your ACTH goes down, then the uh, adrenal cortex that also shrink. So this is actually Sheehan syndrome and the answer is ischemic infarction. If the same scenario and your ACTH is high, the ACTH level is high, what does this mean? Then it means atrophy of the cortex. So you have to focus on the ACTH. If the ACTH is high, it means the adrenal cortex is not producing the, 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 the adrenal hormones. So the ACTH become high to, to more stimulate it. So if the ACTH is high, then the answer is atrophy of the adrenal cortex. If the ACTH is low, then the answer is ischemic infarction of the pituitary gland. This is the Sheehan syndrome. So coming toward uh, another uh, controversial MCQ. This is another MCQ later with the history of PPH later found to have decreased serum ACTH. What is the most likely cause? Again, you can see ischemic infarction. This is a Sheehan syndrome. This is not a Cushing. In a Cushing, you are having increased ACTH in atrophy of the cortex. In atrophy of the in atrophy of the cortex, you are having increased ACTH. Here, if you see, there is decreased ACTH. So, over here, the answer is ischemic infarction. Just on my page. Uh, on telegram so if you see this this mcq a, a, a girl is having a swelling but if you see she is having a history of a bite three weeks ago uh, and the urine also shows rbc this is not a minimal change disease this is not a nephrotic syndrome in nephrotic syndrome you are not supposed to have rbc cost over here you are having rbc and also there is a history of a skin infection so this is the skin infection versus the throat infection and after three weeks you are having the kidney involvement and there is a nephrotic picture this is a typical example of post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and the answer over here is sub epithelial electron humps so you are having sub-epithelial deposit. This is post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, secondary to the nephro nephrogenic strain infection of the skin three weeks back. Another MCQ I would relate with it is a patient is having sore throat and with the sore throat the patient is having uh, urinary, the kidney involvement. There are RBC cost and there is hematuria. So this is actually IgA nephropathy. The IgA nephropathy you are having the the, the infection in the kidney environment at the same time this is called synperangetic synperangetic you are having infection and with the infection you are having kidney environment this is synperangetic but if you are having infection three weeks back or two weeks back and now you are having kidney environment that is something else that is post streptococcal glomerulonephritis that is not synperangetic that is post perangetic so uh, try to try to focus on the stem and differentiate between these two things so I, I hope this is now clear. Well, this is another scenario. A patient, you are giving antibiotics and the patient is not improving. This is actually a complicated pyelonephritis. This is not chronic, complicated pyelonephritis. If that is not in the option, the next step is uh, uh, resistant UTI. If that is not in the option, then you can, you can pick the chronic pyelonephritis if the patient is not responding to the antibiotics. Though the history is not that much prolonged but i'm sure this is a poor recall and there is this is complicated pyelonephritis agar wo nahi hai to per complicated uti agar wo nahi hai to resistant uti hai ye kyunki antibiotic ko respond nahi kar raha to isko hum complicated uti bolte hain jo usual antibiotic ko response nahi kar raha agar ye cheeze nahi hai to per acute pyelonephritis hai